Crap. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought that I I just learned something new in Revit today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. So some problems on a project in our office. The electrical team cannot tag the rooms in the electrical model. We have two architectural models. One is our company's model, which is for the interior fit out. Mm -hmm. And then there's another architectural model that was done by another firm that is the core and shell. Mm. When the electrical group goes to tag rooms, it can only find the overall room that the core and shell firm put in like for the whole inside of the first floor, they just yep. called it one big room. Yep. Whereas, you know, we have suites it's a, of those rooms um, mm-hmm. and it will not find those room tags. It will not find those rooms to tag them in the electrical model. Yeah. Reload. So I'll just, I'll just quickly make, we'll make a couple of versions of this thing. Here. Let's see. Okay. I'll do this. I'll create a project. So this is our core shell. So we'll call this one our core shell. Okay. And then once that saves, I'm just going to make, I'll save as, so I'm going to make this one our, oh, here's, a, here's an interesting thing. Are they using the core shell boundary for the, I guess it doesn't really matter, for their um, fit out rooms? I guess it doesn't really make a huge difference, but here, I'm just going to, um, all the fit out ones are 200 in our sample here. All right, so we have this one. I'll call this fit out. Save as project fit out. Now, if I go to insert link Revit, we'll go core shell internal origin. Fine. So there's our core shell model. And then I'll do another link and we'll do a fit out model. All right. So this is what you basically have. So if you select the core shell, you can see those rooms, right? Right. If yes. you select this one, you see that room, right? Yes. And then when you try to tag it. Oh, I see what you're saying. So see, it's it's going. See how it's looking for. That's the issue you're running into. Yeah. Interesting. So if I do this, let's try this. Let me go back to manage links. Uh. Hello, manage links. Let's try this. If I take core shell and I unload it, so I don't remove it, but I unload it. Right. Let's just see if I can do it. Now it's letting me do it. So if I do 200, 200. So now now I'm getting those. Right. And then if I go back to insert, manage links, and then I reload it. They stay. They do stay. There you go. <laughs> There's one way around it. <laughs> Just unload the core shell link, place all your tags, and then reload it. It's clearly something, Some there's some hierarchy telling it. And I don't know of any hierarchy that exists other than the overlay and attachment. Um, and I think we've had this discussion. I'll pull it up on the, um, um, of overlay versus attachment. Um, okay. Because I think we tried that. I, you know, we, we tried everything that you did, you know, with, with uh, yeah. hiding it, yeah, you know, turning off rooms mm-hmm. and visibility graphics, all of that. I mean, just short of what you just did of you know yeah. unloading it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I posted I posted this in a, a, a discussion from sometime last year. Um, this is from the help file, but this is this is super helpful in in understanding the difference between attachment overlay. So initially, that's what I was thinking. Maybe maybe because of the fact that you had. Um, you know, nested links because you could, in theory, and this is this is actually we could try this real quick. Um, if you no, I, will it work that way? No, because I still think the room will override. Yeah, 
what I was thinking is you had the, the fit out in the course shell on the course and they could dump it in that way. Um, but uh, I don't think it makes a difference to it. for some reason. It's some sort of a, there's some sort of a hierarchy saying that this, now I wonder if it's the order we link them. Let's just, I'm, I'm curious to see if, um, let me delete this. Let me remove these links. Cause I did core shell first, right? Right. And it's also on top of it. So if I did this, if I got rid of these and I linked Revit and then I did fit out first and then I linked core shell, will fit out be in front of core shell? <laughs> it is. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? That I, I just learned something new in Revit today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. So... So to, in order to control the, the layering of links, it's the order in which you link them in. Wow. Okay. Good to know. And I'm assuming that only applies to rooms because I don't know what else it would apply to. I guess maybe spaces. Um, 